are five things you should know about probiotics. So number one, I always look for a human microflora, meaning that it is designed for your human digestive tract. That's really important. The type of strain of probiotic that you take is going to make all the difference for helping with your gut microbiome. Okay, number two, make sure it's always a fresh supply. You wanna make sure that your probiotics are actually alive. They are live microorganisms, so that's really important that you're getting it from a reputable company, always ensuring that fresh supply. Okay, number three, make sure it also contains prebiotics. So I love fructooligosaccharides. This is usually coming from the chicory root. And this is really important because it helps to convert to short chain fatty acids in your gut microbiome. That's really important for your overall health. If you've got gas and bloating issues, you're trying to put your good guys back in, make sure that your probiotics also have those prebiotics. Number four, make sure that you're using strains that actually work and have been tested. So the ones that I like to take personally are lactobacillus acidophilus and bifidobacterium bifidum and specific numbered strains that have been tested to survive our stomach acid so that HCL as well as pepsin and the bile salt so that highly acidic environment can really destroy a lot of those probiotics if they've not been tested to withstand that acid and in one test it was found that 98% of the probiotics tested didn't survive that stomach acid. So that's really important. Make sure that you're asking that question. And number five, make sure that there are no fillers or flow agents, especially magnesium stearate in your probiotics. Probiotics by their nature are often very sticky and very difficult to get into the capsules. So this is where a lot of companies, most of them that are encapsulating probiotics are using that magnesium stearate to make it less sticky, to get it into the capsules, saving and cutting costs, of course, and saving time on production. So make sure that you're looking for all five of these things in a good quality probiotic. For more information on the benefits and myths about probiotics, check out my video, Probiotics, Benefits and Myths of Probiotics. I'll see you there.